Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Um, my name is Desmond. I'm very glad to have you joining us here today. Um, today we'll be we'll be discussing about on how to use view space as a part of our digitalization initiative in the organization, um, focusing on construction development project from a developer's or client's perspective. So before we go further, then uh, please allow me to briefly introduce what is view space. If we can recall back in year 2009, when our JKR and CIDP they collaborated to implement NETI program. NETI means National E-Tendering Initiative. And that was a time when the whole idea of E-Tendering started to be promoted in Malaysia. And from there, our founder, Mr. Chiu, and started to design a system with our CTO, Inja Aslan, and our system marketing, Inja Asli, to establish a platform for the user e-tender based on our uh, based on the user BQ. So BQ space is unlike the other BQ preparation software applications where uh, sending out digital BQ for pricing forms only a part of the extension. BQ space system is actually designed to cater for construction project e-procurement processes which involves documentations, drawings, specifications and most importantly communication. So um, we, we all know there is actually a need for digitalization, especially during this lockdown period, I believe, um, especially, especially when our work requires a lot of physical effort, those QS of course, a lot of tender, you definitely know what I'm trying to say here. Um, processes and workflows are not very efficient, which causes delay in, the decision, in decision making and construction activities. And, and yes, thanks to this COVID-19 thing, it, it sort of helped us to take a good look at our communication system, whether there is a room for improvement. So I, I believe um, also thanking all of us to, to joining us today right here, it just means that I we are starting to look at whether there is a system will help not only improving our business consistency and continuity, but to also facilitate better information exchange. Uh, allowing us to enjoy the advantage of analytics and most importantly, reduce costs to maximize our profit. Therefore, BuSpace is designed with the features to streamline our users' workflow and to foster better co collaborations. In BuSpace, we have two major modules. We call it e-tender module when, and post-contract module. E-tender module handle mostly pre-contract activities, including our BQ preparation, tender documentation, tender calling, tender evaluation, and all the way until our award recommendation. Once the contract has been awarded, we can seamlessly extend our project data into post-contract module, where we can manage our progress payment, our change requests, our VOs, and also our project scheduling, and including our cost planning right here. So if we take a, if we if to break down the features in view space based on our client's workflow, we probably have to take a good look at the real definition of e-tender. E-tender right here, fundamentally, if focusing on the entire process, it actually starts way earlier and includes the entire set of tender documentation all the way until a work recommendation and to be carried out in one single platform. And then when it comes to contract management, we're bringing in those parties who contractually bind it into the same platform again for construction contract management. Therefore, the system capacity that we, if we had to choose a system, then the, the system capacity that we have to look at must be able to manage for this, these four triangles here, like, like scope, which is defined by our BQ and contract documents, quality, which is pretty much related to our QA and QC activities such as inspection defects management, cost, which includes financial reporting, claim management, submissions and approval online, and schedule where we can tie our activities in Gantt chart to the actual scope of work, which is our BQ. In another word, in e-tender module, we can call tender, we allow tender to submit its tender or bid. We can also evaluate the tender and award the contract in these things. Then in post-contract stage, we administer the entire activities and keep all the records in, inside within the same platform. Then ultimately, the records that have been generated along these processes will be captured as a project cost data. And this can be very, very useful for us to make informed decision 
or even for our reference for our future project in terms of planning and cost estimating. In e-tender process, particularly during the tender calling in view space, our user can create project, manage our vendors. By vendors, it means our consultants and even our contractors can be, uh, all this record can be properly kept, letting our consultant, even ourselves to prepare BQ in cloud in our server, or even forming tender document and store in, in the server for, for our tenderers to download. Then select tenderers for output manage, management's approval, then we can easily call tender by just sending out email notification. So let us take a let us take a quick look on how this can all be done inside our vSpace system. VipSpace is a cloud-based construction solution means that we can actually access into the system from anywhere at any time. When we log into the system, the first thing we are able to see is the project status chart. By looking at the project status chart, we are able to know the composition of the projects in our organization. And this will allow us to adjust on our business strategies from time to time. Under the same page, there is also a checklist which will give us a quick overview of what are the outstanding tasks that require for our attention and our further action. Follows, we are able to see the project listing with the current project status. When creating a project in build space, we can start by inputting for all the project details like a project title, the work category of the project, the subsidiary, site address and any other project information. And we can also use the style of the letter award and the form of tender by using our company standard format. This is because the template of the letter award and the form of tender can be predefined in the system first. Once the project is created in the system, we can start to impose the control and authority of the project stakeholders by assigning them into the project. This is to create some sort of the security checkpoint to allow the selected party to access into the project information. We are also able to select which party will be in charge in the calling tender or preparing for the tender document. Because for some of the client, we will let the QS to take charge, while for some of the other client, we will prefer to call the tender by themselves. Therefore, ViewSpace has the flexibility to allow the client to assign the access right for other users. As per what we can see on the screen, there is a pre-tender checklist for the every new created project in the system. By looking at the checklist, we are able to know what is the current project progress since the preparation for all the tender documents like a VQ preparation the form of tender document will be uploaded into the system from time to time. In build space, we encourage our users to start to build up the project data based on the model of BQ. As we believe a detailed BQ that defines for all the scope of work clearly can help us to manage the construction contract successfully. Therefore, in the e-tendering process, we can start off by preparing the BQ in the build space pro. And build space actually is a sub-module where we can prepare our BQ or update the construction project data. This means the project data in the BQ is centralized and kept in the client server. In build space pro, we can start off the BQ preparation by creating the build title in system. Once created the title of the build, we can double click to dive in the element level of build. Starting from the element level, we can actually import the description from the system library into the build. Because we can predefine the BQ template like a SMM2 in the system library first for the future project BQ importing purpose. After creating the element title, we can actually double click to further dive in the BQ item level. By using the same method, we can also import the BQ item description from the library in the system.
By doing this, we can save up a lot of time from the preparation of the BQ from scratch and it will help us to standardize from our BQ format in the system. After importing the BQ description from the library, we can type to input the quantity for the BQ item. After we have finalized on the BQ, we can set to lock the BQ by clicking at the Publish to Tender button. Once published to tender, the BQ will be locked and any further amendment will be treated as the BQ addendum. In the context of e-tendering, we should not just looking at the digital BQ or the electronic BQ only. If we look at the e-tendering or the e-procurement in a holistic way, we must be able to put the entire tender document together, including with the COC, the specification, the preambles and the appendices, as well as for the tender drawings with the proper record of the revisions. We can create a new folder for the tender document in the system as well by inputting with the folder name. To upload the tender document into the system, we can click to open the folder, further click Upload and Add Files, then you should be able to browse the attachment from your computer and further upload it into the system. Also, the form of tender can be finalized in the system as well where the tenderer can sign and prove with a submission. Since we have selected the template for the form of tender when during the project creation, we can click print to preview the template first before doing any editing. If we want to edit on the form attender in terms of the clauses or any other detail, we can click at the edit button to view on the content of the form attender. To edit on the clauses, we can directly add the content to further edit. Or, if we want to add a new clause, we can just click at the add button to add in a new clause. After editing on the form attender, we can click save to finalize it. If we refer back on the progress checklist, as we can see now, we have completed for the first three steps. And now, we can continue to proceed on the recommendation of tenderer form preparation. In the recommendation of tenderer form, we can start to define the date and time for both the tender calling and the tender closing, and also to input the other tender information, like the completion period, the procurement method, and so on. And for some of the tenders, which are the 2 bit tendering, we can also include the technical evaluation criteria for the tender submission. The technical evaluation template can be predefined by the consultant or by the client with the scoring in the system first. Under the same form, we can list out the potential tenders and send the email of the tender expression interest to them from the system. Let's say the selected tenderers receive the email of the expansion interest, they can respond their interest through the email. As what we can see on the screen, if the tenderer receives the email of the expansion interest, they can click at the link in the email and further respond their interest. And the responses will be auto-updated into the system. Once we have finalized on the recommendation of tender form, we can submit the form for the management approval, if so required. If the recommendation of tender form is submitted and get approved, we can proceed to another form so called the list of tender form. In the list of tender form, it's actually similar with the previous form. We can still amend on the tender information or invite or remove the tender from the list. Once we finalize with the list of tender form, we can proceed to the last form before we call out for a tender. Under the calling tender form, we can draft and send the tender invitation email to the selected contractors from the system.
If all the tender information is finalized, we can submit the form to call out the tender. Once we have submitted the calling tender form, the system will auto send out an email to notify the selected tenderers that the tender has been issued and called out by the consultant or by the client. Therefore, the selected tenderers will start to log into the system for the tender submission. Okay, so once the tender has received the email invitation, then um, our tender can actually log into back to the system and to download the document. And when, when we say logging back to the system, that means that the system is actually in the client's office or in client server or even in cloud server. So we do not actually require the contractor to purchase the software or to, to install a system in themselves. They can actually just using, they can actually just uh, clicking on the link that we send out by email, then start to log into the system and do the pricing. They can actually start to download the documents and start to do the pricing in their BQ. Um, if it's a too big system like what uh, my colleague has mentioned earlier, like uh, in the in the claim earlier, uh, the tender can also do their self evaluation for technical criteria that has been designed to to uh, evaluate our potential contractor in a more objective way rather than just commercially. Then a contractor can even send in their RFI, which is request for information. And most importantly, if the addendum is done in, if the addendum is actually issued in from BSpace, then all this record of changes in terms of BQ descriptions and quantities can be easily traced back. So the entire process here does not require uh, our tenderer to, to uh, incur additional costs to participate here and directly we can actually reduce our tendering cost here. So now also please let us take a look in detail how can um, how can this tendering be done by a tenderer side. In build space it is very easy for the tenderer to submit their competitive bid by just following six steps. When a tender is called out by the client or the consultant, the tenderer will receive an email notification with the tender details. By opening the link from the email, they can direct access to the client build space server by using their own user account detail. Once the tenderer logs in into the system, they are only allowed to view the projects that are being assigned to them only. They can click to open the project in the system. To download the tender document, they can go to the system tender document module. Under the tender document module, tenderer able to see the folder and the attachment uploaded by the consultant. And they can easily download all the attachment just by one click. Not only download for the attachment, if the contractor want to do the pricing with their BQ, they can access into our BQ editor module. Under the BQ editor module, the tenderer able to see the BQ details immediately. And they can open the BQ until the item level to direct input with the BQ rates into the system. And the system able to sum up with the total after the tenderer input with the BQ rate. Although the BQ can be submitted online, but the system still allows the tenderer to download the BQ in a PDF format from the system. This is because for some of the tenderer, they are still prefer to have a set of the hard copy BQ as a record. After tenderer finalizing on the BQ submission, they can further click the submit button to submit with their BQ. While in build space eTender, the tenderer actually can submit multiple times as long as it is before the tender closing date. One of the benefits of using the build space for the tender submission is the tenderer will not know for each other's pricing, not even for the clients to know about the details of the submission until the tender is open. Tenderer can always come into the system to check on their submission details from time to time. And the tenderer also able to input the tender discount for their submission if allowed by the client or the consultant.
if we scroll to the top, actually there is a checklist for the every tenderer as a guidance. So tenderer can always refer to the checklist to know what are the documents that they have to submit for this tender. For some tenders, the client might require the tenderer to submit for the technical as well. Therefore, in build space, the tenderer are allowed to self-evaluate by themselves based on the technical criteria that are predefined by the client with the technical score in the system. And they are also allowed to upload the technical attachment based on the predefined criteria as well. Lastly, another benefit of using the build space system for the e-tendering is we can always communicate with our tenderer. Likewise, if the tenderer got any inquiries regarding on the tender submission, they are able to communicate with the consultant or client through the system as well. By having e-tender with system, the client can enjoy the most value of money because an easy tendering process will encourage the competition and in return, our client will be getting not only a complete bid but also with a competitive bid. Yep, so like, like what my colleague then was trying to say just now, by, by using eTender, we, we actually allows the tenderer to easily submit their best bid and as soon as the tender is closed, then the client side can actually quickly perform a tendering, tender opening online. Uh, we don't really need uh, our consultant to come to our office and everyone sit together and then we open up our tender one by one because usually we, last time we used to do that is just because we want to have the weakness. But if let's say tender openings can be open in, in the system, then all the record can be properly recorded. And then this might be the way, this might be the new way of tender opening that in the future we might also want to engage. So uh, after we, we open the tender online, then we can also do this technical assessment and commercial evaluation online. By using e-tender, the, the best thing is we can we can actually minimize the possibility of arithmetical error due to transfer and rounding. As what you can see in the previous part of the presentation, uh, what, what tender needs to do is just to punch in their pricing and all this uh, linking and formula setting up is actually handled by the cloud. Then uh, therefore the lead time for tender report can be reduced and hopefully it will encourage a quicker award recommendation as we know time is money. And now let us also take a look at how much time we can actually save by performing tender evaluation in view space. As soon as the tender is closed and opened by the authority, we are able to check on the tenderer's submission through the system immediately. And the beauty of having the 2-bit system in place for the tender evaluation is we can make sure the participated tenderers are qualified for the job in terms of the capacity and the financial capability before proceed to the commercial evaluation. To check on the technical evaluation result that submitted by the tenderer, we can go to the tendering module in the system, further go to the technical opening, and click at tender. Once the technical tender is opened by the authority, the system will auto-generate the technical score for each tender based on their technical submission. And this can be as the first card of the tender submission result. In the technical report, it will list out the tender submission in details. And since each criteria of the technical is predefined by the client or the consultant with the technical scoring, and that's why the system able to generate the score automatically right after the tender submission. Also, for consultant can always come into the system to check on the validity and the sufficiency of the submission of the tenderer from time to time, and then report to the client. Ultimately, 
This will encourage an objective and a transparent practice in the selection of the contractor for the job. After finalizing the technical evaluation, we can submit the report so-called the technical assessment form for approval to shortlist the tenderers based on their technical scoring. Once the technical evaluation is done, we can now proceed to the commercial evaluation to check on the tender submission amount. When the commercial tender is opened by the authority, we are able to view on the tender submission amount in the system. Tender opening form is auto-generated from the system without needing any user input to avoid with the arithmetical error. Usually, the longest lead time when it comes to the tender reporting is for the consultant QS to tabulate the rates comparison and checking on the arithmetical errors for the contractor. But in view space, since the system will auto tabulate for the tender rates comparison, it will save a lot of time required from the arithmetical error checking by the consultant. Not only the arithmetical error checking, Automate the process of tabulating all the rates submitted by the tenderers side by side helps to shorten the lead time for more than 90% when comparing with the conventional tendering method. Also, we can use the rate from our historical project as a basis for more objective comparison. Once the commercial evaluation is done, we can export the tender comparison into the Excel format for record keeping or preparation of the tender report in the hard copy, if so required. In build space, we can either export the tender comparison in the PDF format or in the Excel format for the further editing. The comparison report that exported from the system will identify and present the lowest rate in the green color and the highest rate in the red color. By having a system to auto tablet on the tenderer comparison, client can proceed with the faster and a quicker award recommendation. Because the report can be prepared online and certain tender information can be auto tabulated from the system as well. Another benefit of preparing the report online is we can submit the report for our management for online approval. In other words, the management can come into the system to view and respond to the approval of the report on screen. Once the decision has been made by the management, we can prepare the letter of award in the build space and print out for the awarded tenderer to sign. In overall, as what we can see on the screen, the entire e-tendering process starting from the tender document preparation until the award of the contract can be done in the one single platform. So um, that's pretty much that we we have gone through with um, starting from e-tender, starting from tender calling, tender submissions, and tender evaluations. I believe you you all have a bit of questions and uh, some. You also need some clarification or further elaboration then you can actually post it right here in in the question chat box here then uh, i believe we have a bit of time i can i can also attend to some of, uh, attend to some of the questions by the end of this session yeah so let us proceed so once the, the award has been once the contract has been awarded then we want to also forward this entire thing to post contract stage in, in view space, um, to manage our contract in post-contract stage, we we have to forward the entire same set of BQ for detail planning. When you say detail planning, it is pretty much in the terms of say our gun chart, our S curve, and for records for RV and VO is to be kept in the system for record also. Therefore, it is very easy to monitor to uh, the real time project cost performance. Unlike what we used to do in Excel when preparing our interim progress claim over the years, then we in BuSpace will allow the progress claim to be kept within BuSpace system for projection of work done in terms of cost as well. For the contractual claims uh, for EOT, 
and loss and expense will be based on the standard forms of contracts where we upload and store our AI, EI, and any, any other correspondences such as drawings and sketches in the same place, in the same place as, as the most centralized uh, document management system in BuSpace. For our client who needs to manage the inspection record and also defect ratification works, we can also monitor them in BuSpace. So let us take a uh, let us take a look in in, in BuSpace and on how this contract is being managed in uh, in BuSpace. In build space, we can keep using one set of the BQ brought forward starting from the tender stage until the final account stage of the project. And this will ensure the continuity of the data, so we no need to worry about the loss of the information by importing or exporting this data from one platform to another. When a project is in the post-contract stage, the project manager can start to come into the system to do with the project planning in terms of the producing of the gun chart and the project S curve in the system. One of the benefits of using the system to do the gun chart is we can define the scope of works with the detail in terms of the contract sum and the productivity. Since we already have the BQ in the system, the scope of work in the gun chart can be tied to the BQ item for the more accurate productivity computation. Therefore, an accurate S-curve will be also produced automatically through the system for the cost planning and the monitoring purposes. Besides doing the project planning in the system, when the project is in the post-contract stage, it is very important to monitor the cost changes based on the request of the duration of work. While in build space, we can have a more transparent and efficient platform to manage for our contract, and this will include managing the variation of work in the details. We can establish a new variation request by inputting for all the details of the variation of work. And we can also do the quick cost estimation of the variation of work in the form of the BQ with the reference to the BQ rates or the new rates. By having all the breakdown cost details in place, the system able to sum out the total estimation cost for the variation of work. For each of the variation work created in the system, we can easily check on the quantum of change in terms of the percentage against for our contract sum. Once the cost estimation of the variation work is approved by the management, we can start to issue the formal variation order in the system as well. In BuildSpace Variation Order module, we are able to see the detail of the budget breakdown that approved by the management. From there, we can further prepare for the former VO's breakdown. While preparing the detailed breakdown of a former variation order, we can input the actual rates and the quantity for the item. And one of the benefits of using the system to prepare on the former VO is the system will auto-calculate the net omission and addition for each VO item. Also, we can upload any supporting attachment like the AI, the architect instruction, or the EI, the engineer instruction, and the drawings into the system for the contractor to download. The beauty of having the VOs to be done in the system is all the supporting documents and the correspondence will be properly maintained in the one single platform across the construction lifespan. This allows us to retrieve the information at any given point of time and also dissolve the physical barriers of the information exchange. Another good point is since all the vetting and the approval is properly kept in the system, it provides a perfect audit trail for the tracking when necessary. Another reason why we should use the build space to manage for our contract claim is because the system has been incorporated with the standard form of the contract to be part of the process flow management by submitting an AI or the EI through the system. The system will notify the user on the time frame and the contractual obligation for each party when submitting the progress claim, the VO claim, the loss and expenses, and also for the extension of time.
when preparing the progress claim in the build space, all the records are properly stored and updated in the client server. But when compared to use the Excel to update for the progress claim, the user need to set up the formula and linking between the multiple Excel sheets. In build space, the progress claim can be updated based on the element level or the item level of the build. We can also update the progress claim based on the percentage, quantity or the lump sum amount. This flexibility allows us to update the progress claim based on the different requirements depends on the nature of the job varies. Since the claim submission can be done online, the system will auto-generate the payment certificate for the contractor. And the payment certificate with the submission amount can be submitted for the client's approval. This will definitely reduce the waiting time for the claim to be processed and the work can be done more efficiently. Once the payment of the certificate is approved by the client, contractor will be informed on the status of the current claim and they can download the payment certificate from the system. When the re-measurement is required to be done for some particular projects, we can also update the quantities in the system without needing to create a new file or to re-linking for all the quantities and the formula. Side-by-side -side comparison on the net addition or the emission can be produced immediately with a clear picture of the current project financial standing. When we have a new item to be added during the re-measurement, it will be dealt as a new item in the variation order. As for developer clients, we can also utilize the build space as a part of the QAQC management process since the pool of the contractors already registered in the build space and working around with the same set of the project data. The defect management is to further include with the contractor's involvement in the population of the information and eventually all the records will be consolidated into one single platform. When we need to establish a new case of the defect report, we can input all the necessary information into the system and then send the notification to the contractor. When the contractor receives the email notification and they can take the action based on the report and update the work status in the system as well, and then this client will be notified immediately. Likewise, when the contractors request for the site inspection, they can actually raise a case in the system as well. By having for all the cases to be well recorded in one system, then we are able to monitor the efficiency for our team. Um, so we have we have worked through all this process from uh, e-tender module and also post-contract module. Then uh, let me share with you a little bit of the, the research that we have done um, all, all this while. You know, based, based on the based on our observation and study, usually when we were talk, when we talk about the, the computerization, the digitization or digitalization, I think the biggest difference between these two. Uh, as you can see from the screen, either we want to go for digitization or we want to go for digitalization. It's pretty much be, uh, designed based on the way our data has been gathered and also been used for as a, as a useful information. Especially in construction project where we rely heavily on the past project data to allow us to make decision, to make decision and even do planning of a future project. Therefore, having Therefore, having, having our projects accumulated in view space, we can allow the user to obtain real-time financial reporting, and that will save our time in those clerical words in terms of preparing our financial report, and also cut out certain Excel sheets and uh, copy and paste some of the information then for, for reporting to upper management level. Um, at the best, and the best thing is the data is centralized um, to we control access. With the compilation of project cost data, we can also monitor what is the trend of the market and how we want to strategize our product portfolio as part of our risk management exercise. So we, we have revamped in, in view space, in view space, we have revamped our management dashboard. And now uh, last part of the video, I want to share with you on how this new look of this management dashboard will help us to uh, manage our development project in a more efficient way.
one of the main objective of using the build space to manage for our construction project is build space can be considered as a safe data repository to store for all our project data into a single platform. By having for all the project data in hand, build space able to display the real-time financial status for all the projects either in chart or in the schedules. And this will reduce the clerical work in a most lonely time for producing a financial report. As what we can see on the screen, starting from the macro level, the system able to show the overall budget and spending from entire development projects. For some of the developer clients who have the subsidiary, we can still look at the project cost performance based on the different subsidiary with the complete breakdown cost. To scroll further, system able to present the distribution of costs based on the work categories by each subsidiary. And also come with a clear representation of the bar chart which will give a quick overview. If scroll to the bottom, system also able to present the overall budget, awarded contract sum and the variation order sum for each development project. This will allow us to have the better insight of the cost performance for each development project based on the cost distribution of the work categories. Since all the project data is kept and accumulated in the build space system, we can always compare our project cost data side by side on a similar basis. In build space cost data module, we can input all the project cost details of the budget, award the contract sum and the variation order sum for the project. By inputting the project cost details into the system, System able to tabulate the cost analysis such as the total cost per GFA, the total cost per NFA and the average cost per unit for a project. Another benefit of using the build space to prepare on the cost data report is we can always derive the cost information from our BQ, which will increase the accuracy of the project cost data report. This will be very useful if we utilize the, all the data to set a benchmark for the upcoming projects for cost estimation. We can always select the other project cost data for comparison or export it out into the Excel format when we are preparing the feasibility study report. So that's the beauty of having this project data to be accumulated in, in our own uh, system or in our own server. Because by the end of the day, uh, if, we're, if we're taking out digital transformation, then uh, as far as Bill Spain's IT philosophy is concerned, our, our main objective is to want to empower our user in either in the top management level or even from the executive level. Then uh, by providing by providing a total solutions like what we have seen in the previous the previous part of the uh, the presentation today, and we'll also be talking about a strategy partnership that is where a build space consultant team came in and helped our client to implement the entire system and to set up the entire uh, server so for people to be able to work from cloud base or even to do save repository of their project informations and documents and then. Um, partly is to also want to automate some of the processes and ultimately we want our client to achieve our digital transformation successfully. Speaking about the support that we have, then uh, Buspain has a team that mostly be, uh, made up by QS background, then will help our client to achieve digital transformation via these activities. That also including the setting up of the server and system, including our template documents, and including our libraries, then followed by providing training and facilitating the learning for adoptions. The, the learning will also include the vendors, let's say our subcons, our consultants, and who need to be part of the system, then the training will also be provided. Um, then when, when the project is online, then technical support will be handled by our, on our side also. Uh, then continuously we will have com communications for improvement, and eventually achieve long-term goal through some close collaborations and improvements on certain functions that we have. So this is our main roadmap of how this build space, support, uh, build space support 
uh, is designed to be. <clears throat> we know now it is important for a client to be able to work uh, from uh, different parts of the uh, from different parts of the the office, or it, it can be or it has to be from home. So in such a way, a part of the team will be have to work from home. Then another part of the team will be working from office. Therefore, I, I believe we've been we've been receiving a lot of. Uh, inquiries and we'll be receiving a lot of questions and then uh, feedbacks from our user from our clients then to ask us and it can view space actually help uh, them to put out the thing in cloud so that people can move from anywhere that's why we, we come out with this chart uh, for as our KPI to help our client to put things up for them to be able to work from home so um, we start. We sort of strategize our service to help our client to go live within 48 hours, and and all trainings to be done within a week or so. If we take a look at the screen right here, uh, training to training to internally or even our own consultant will just happen within week two, and then as soon as week three, then we'll be we'll be able to provide training for our our vendors. That means our contractors and builders. Uh, although it, it will not be very long, it will not be a very long session for trainings, but we're only talking about say two hours, two hours and one hours kind of training, then it can be done online, but it can be also done in the office, that depends, but I believe people now uh, will be will be preferring to have this training to be done online. So another service uh, we think this is quite great and we, we actually did it to help our client is to say uh, once the client decide to, to put out build space and then to actually start to work in build space, then our team will actually help to help our client to bring in their existing ongoing project into the system so everyone can straight away get to work. So uh, these three weeks here was actually tabulated based on our assumptions um, they, they are a lot of information you need to bring in, but they're subject to numbers of projects. So uh, this three weeks here is only an indicative. We would like to share with you some of the comparison we have done within ourselves uh, between uh, traditional method and using view space. At, as me myself was a QS last time, then we do we do uh, manage project, we do have our clients to call tender. We, we noticed that the major time saving has actually happened is where the physical content is required. Take for example, if we take a look at this uh, chart here, it's more on tender stage where people actually need to come to QS office to collect documents. Sometimes if they forgot something, they need to come back and for submissions. And when it comes to payment, then it is where usually uh, the certificates being passed around QS office, architect office, and even to the client's office, and then <clears throat> for all this paperwork, including our VOs right here. And most importantly, final account usually the time probably spent on uh, digging the information and record for compilations of um, a valid final account uh, statement. So if we streamline all the processes, then we can translate our time saving in terms of money. Uh, we're looking at 14,000 per tender cycle. But these, these are our some of the assumptions that we have made and then uh, for as a reference. So change uh, to, to end our presentation, then uh, let us share, let us just conclude what are the functions that we have seen in the presentation earlier, including our dashboard, including our platform for full scope of e-tendering. Uh, I hope now we, now we will be able to look at e-tender, not just sending out a digital BQ for people to price, but we also want to take a look at how these specifications and drawings and information can be easily made available to our contenders friends. Then um, the e-contract management system, which is based on BQ, uh, some of the points that we we actually share with you in our previous webinars. If you if you want to review our previous webinar, please let me know. Then I will actually share you the link for our recording for previous webinar. We'll talk about why this is important to use BQ to manage our contract system. That's why the idea of um, BQ space is to uh, based on a set of BQ as our contract management, uh, our our contract management system. Then um, we also want to take a look at how can we digitalize our claim approval workflow management to reduce waiting time, to reduce delay, and to speed up construction process in in the future. So user friendly digital collaboration environment where our consultants, our vendors, our contractors can come into the system and work together. 
and online project recording management, uh, online project record management, which is very secure uh, with the firewall with uh, with the firewall with uh, of the uh, cloud provider and data is both for interdepartmental operation. This is pretty much to cater for saying if you have a finance an accounting system, then Pewspace can actually export and export and export the data for the other department to start to work on their site. Okay. Um, last but not least, just to share with you uh, our here comes to the the end of our presentation and our MCO promotion is still ongoing. Then please contact us if you wish to know more about the promotion or if you want to also schedule a separate call with us to actually see the, the system in detail, then I, I hope um, today's presentation will roughly give you a, a rather clear picture on how, how things can be done in, in a more holistic manner, including e-tender and also post-contract stage. Then I have a lot of questions here, then I will have to um, <clears throat> address to these questions one by one. Hmm. Um, I, I suppose you were. Uh, I, I suppose you wish to be. Uh, you wish to remain anonymous, and um, I will just read out these questions, and I'll just give my my comments on this lah. Huh? Okay, we have questions say, asking: Is addendum will be automatically updated into the BQ? Um, yes, actually, the best part of having view space to to issue or the addendum is. Um, since the since the addendum is actually done in view space, therefore when contractors start to log into the system again, they will actually see the changes in the BQ in terms of addendum. Take for example those omissions of item, newly added item, changes of quantities, uh, changes even of the unit, then all things can be seen very very clearly. QS we, we used to do, let's say sometimes when, when we issue our addendum, then we, we tend to tabulate it out for them. But I suppose right inside view space system, when it comes to addendum, everything can be streamlined and it can be done even faster. Because contractor, when they tender is, when they come in, they will straight away know what are the changes in the BQs already. Unless we change the drawing, there's another part of the story. But as far as BQs is concerned, then um, it, can, it, it can be automatically updated. It, it is not import as book, but it's just updated in the BQ. Um, does contractors submit their own scoring for technical compliance? And who is the one who who is the one moderating the technical evaluations? As what well, we can see from the, the presentation earlier, the technical compliance, uh, the technical evaluation is actually designed by the client with a set of the scoring metrics. Um, if let's say your company or if let's say your team now doesn't really have it, then uh, you can start to design one. I believe we have some sort of a uh, scoring metrics in 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 the in your own office, just that whether we use it or not, there's another part. But when it comes to this question, say when con does contractor need to submit their own scoring? Yes, it's actually um, as a as a uh, evaluation criteria. But as soon as it's submit back right here, the consultant can still come into the result there and review and then to validate further. So it's just that it is not showing a presentation later, but there is actually a mechanism where allow the consultant to come in to the system and then to take a look at the technical compliance. Okay, uh, next questions we have, can only open financial tender for those contractors who pass the technical tender? And this is not necessary. Uh, what the presentation was showing all of us just now is a two-bit system where people start, usually they, they want to have technical evaluation to open up first, then only proceed with commercial, only proceed with commercial evaluation. But in this space, we can do either way. You can actually do only commercial opening or you can actually open up for both. Then we still have this kind of flexibility. Um, next questions we have. Can consultants PTE be included in the comparison table? Yes. Uh, by default, it is being tabulated in comparison table, but um, as what we can see in the previous presentation also, when Zen actually show us the, the use of historical rate, it's actually amazing because not only now we can we can compare our PTE with our tender submissions, but uh, in view space, we allow the user to compare PTE 
annual historical contract rates and also the tender submission rates. So it sort of gives you a second baseline for your comparisons. Uh, now we have questions asking how to ensure the tender check submission for e-tender submission. Oh, we got these questions a lot, to be honest. Um, rather than well, what we did last time was we have our tenderer friend when I was a QS, then we have our tenderer friends to, to submit to our office. Then uh, remember last time, oh, so not, not to say remember last time, let me share with you what did we did for the one day we, uh, when our clients is in Singapore. Um, we, 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 allowed the, we allowed the contractor to actually submit the check when they, when they been called for tender interview. That means every tender inter every te that means every tender will be called out for interview. Then they will they will only bring in their check. So this is number one. Uh, this is one of the suggestion I can actually uh, think of based on uh, our experience last time when everything is submitted online. Uh, tenderers can insert formula into the BQ when they fill in tender rates. Mm. In in terms of e tender, in terms of BQ for tender. We usually does not really allow our tender to do any modification on the BQ. This is to say, this is to make sure all these evaluations on, on, on tender can be done objectively. But, but when it comes to certain items where we require tenderers to put in their own uh, non-listed item, let's say any other item, which is what, what we usually do. And unless we set it in such a way, otherwise contractor will not be able to modify anything in the BQ. But when it comes to this formula, mm, formula is not one of the things we allow them to, to modify. Okay, it, as far as modification to be done on BQ, it is only, uh, uh, it is only the, the description wise where it is not listed in the BQ. All right. Um, we have next question asked, do you have a package for BQ preparation only? Uh, yes. Um, like, like what we have seen in the, in the screen or uh, in the presentation just now, in BSpace, right, if you take a look at this, um, uh, take a look at this screen, e-project is something that we use to do everything that you have seen just now. But if let's say you're talking about only look at getting a system to help you to prepare your BQ, to do your pricing, to store your all this pricing data, then uh, Buspace Pro is probably something that you need to come out with your own BQ. Okay, um, is the con contract condition can be changed? Yes, that, that, that's subject to uh, what type of conditions the contract that we're talking about, but we are constantly updating our conditions of contract. At the moment, we're using PAMFORM, but we do have clients start to request uh, to put in different types. Then we're, we are working very closely with our clients to see what are, the doc what are the COC to be put in here. Um, next question is, can material quality checklist be part of this software? Okay, um, in, in, in terms of mandatory submission, mandatory document submission, we, we can actually uh, put it in the put it in e project right here as to form part of the submission. So it can actually be done. It's just that inside view space we do not have this kind of material checklist. But if you have one one checklist, then you can actually upload it into into uh, into e project into view space. Then a contractor can actually fill up, sign up, and then upload it back again as part of the supporting document right here. Um, during claim stage, can contractor assist? Can can contractor assist the bill space or QS required to key in what contractor required to claim? I, I suppose this is uh this is referring to can contractor actually submit their claim into bill space directly? I I will understand it in such a way, lah. Huh? Okay, now um. In Buspace, yes, if our contractors are using Buspace Pro and they can do the e-claim submission, then they, what they need to do is just to, is just they update their claim in Buspace Pro and, and then export the file and for client to import back in e-project and then all this claim can be done without needing people to actually key in one by one. So it is actually very, very uh, convenient in doing that. 
Uh, does the tender have the feature of bidding? To be honest, at the moment, we don't have. Uh, some of our users is using third party when it comes to e-bidding, but once it's bid and confirmed, they will they will come back to build space again to 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 do their award recommendations and also uh, contract management in build space. Mm, can we extract only the cost data for part of uh, mixed development? Um, that depends on which part are we talking about. I, I believe, in, let's say, um, I believe, in, let's say, it is, is it, it uh, if let's say this is a mixed development, then you have different, different, different phase. Then you will be doing different, different, different phase by using different projects. Then, if let's say this is the case, then we should be able to export one one part of one phase. But if let's say we want to uh, export cost data for part of one single project, then I believe when as soon as we export it out to Excel, then we can still do some adjustment there in this sense. Now. On, on build space BQ, can we transfer or import data from Excel? If yes, is the format should be same as build space BQ? Uh, not really, but because when, when it comes to importing BQ into build space, then we we have a mechanism to use uh, to identify the information by column. So it doesn't really need to stick to build space when you are style, no name. What we need to do is just have to make sure all this information is inside different columns, say items, say um, descriptions, unit, rate, and amount in different columns, and it can be imported easily. <clears throat> OK. Uh, why is this BQ in eBQ format instead of PDF format? Okay, uh, when it comes to these questions, of course, BQ can be exported out as PDF format, but this eBQ format is of is our domestic type, it is our domestic format type we can actually import back into the build space. So it take, for example, if client and main con and sub con were all using build space, then you can actually communicate in the form of eBQ. But if let's say client is using build space and our main con is not using build space, then uh, when it comes to exchange information, then of course that we, we can actually take a look at PDF or even Excel. But ultimately we, we of course we we are we are very excited to see if let's say our clients and our contractors are actually using build space, then our uh, EBQ format is the common language they can actually communicate. Mm. He says, hi, thanks for the insight of what BSpace can offer. I see the platform more on contract management is a separate module on procurement or PO um, from material acquisition to PO generation do matching. Um, yes, yes, uh, Mr. Wen Tao, when, when it comes to, because this, um, when, when it comes to PO management and also uh, uh, issuance of purchase order, this kind of thing. Well, we're probably talking in detail when it comes to, we, we do have another sessions for our contractors by using ePro uh, and Pro. Uh, our our, our follow-up video, then I will try to uh, inform you what are the days you can actually join us for our online webinar. Then we'll be talking about how to use build space to deal with POs and also TOs. Um, Next question is how do we measure how do we measure the transparency on this opening that when we do not really require the whole parties? Well, when it comes to when it comes to having e tender to be done online, right? The best thing is everything. the the best the the best immediate thing is we can actually think of is the transparency. So, or what we used to do last time when it comes to opening uh, tender opening is we want to have we want to have everyone to be in the to be in the one office or one meeting room so we'll open up one by one then we we'll record it down it's just because the whole the entire process actually involves a lot of human input and also a, a bit of a manual input when it comes to putting in information into the tendering opening form so come back to these questions where if let's say the tender opening is without the presence of any party tape for example how can we still make sure the transparency it is because in B space, when it comes to preparation or tender opening form, 
every information is actually translate a transfer from a contractor submission. Therefore, as, as far as tender opening form preparations is concerned, the only thing that we need to use a human writing or manual input to put in is probably just signature. And the, then this is how we take care of the transparency in that sense. I hope uh, I hope I, I actually understood, uh, answered the questions. Um, the data is also the next questions that we have if the data is hosted on cloud basis, possible to have the host within company server concerns about the data security. It is actually a very good question where we got a lot from our users and also client. Mm, there are two there, there are two approach, of course. The first one is let's say we're talking about small and medium company where the server uh, they want to actually work in cloud, then um we rather lower maintenance costs, then uh, Buspace can actually do that because we are doing a bit of cloud computation uh, already. But there are clients which is in, in a bigger set in in a bigger in which is bigger in terms of its scale and in, in terms of its capacity, then therefore they will prefer to do it in their own server with their own firewall, with their own uh, set up a security mechanism. So there are two methods we can actually go along with. So that depends on what are what is our client's concern. But either cloud or client's own server, and it is possible to be to be commenced. Okay. <clears throat> Can contractor use so next question is can contractor use this for subcontracting preparation as in grouping the BQ items into trades? Uh yes, wonderfully, yes. Uh we do have a session on Saturday. Uh we would like to also invite you, uh this lady. Uh, our, our, we will we will put it out um to inform all of you like, because today our, our discussion and presentation is more towards to uh, developers, but Saturday we will do have another session is to talk about how contractor, especially main cons, we can actually use e project to maintain or to manage our construction project. And by then we'll be talking about how to use e tender to split out our BQ into different trades into different sub packages, and by the use of e tender and then to also monitor and manage our subcontracts. Um, next questions we have, we roughly have the last questions already. So if you have any more questions, then please put it up then, because now is the last question. So is the level of approvals customizable, whether it, whether it is the recommendation of a word or work done certification? Yes, um, because the verifiers is actually, uh, defined by the user itself. That means by the time when we come in to our client's office and to help them to set up, then we'll be also talking about your SOP, then to stimulate your workflow a little bit, then to see what is the verifications and approval which is required by different parties. Of course, uh, when it comes when when it comes to online approval, then uh, different jobs actually requires different people to actually acknowledge and approve. Then um, in view space, we do cater for, for this kind of flexibility as well. Yep. Well, we have quite a number of questions then. Uh, for all of the questions, I will, I will follow up with you. Although I didn't, I didn't address you by your name then, uh, but I thank you for the questions that you put it up. Then uh, I, will, I will follow up with you by the, by, by the private emails because I, I, I believe that we should have your email address. Then uh, I will list down your questions and we'll, I will reply in, in a proper uh, format so that you can actually keep it for the record because some of our friends who actually ask questions have already left. <laughs> um, yeah, then this is how I can take care of the questions and make sure you are heard also. All right. So any more questions? If, well, if not, then I will have to uh, thank you. I will have to Sincerely, thank you for, for joining us today. Then uh, I hope uh, the, whole, the entire presentation give you a bit of idea, uh, give you some of the insights that from, from these things and then uh, what are the functions that we can use. And you, at least you can make a recommendations or proposition to your management to see maybe view space is also one of the options that you can actually adopt for you to work from home, for your, for your team to work from different places. So until we meet next time, 
I, I, I hope all of you to stay safe and then take care of yourself. Thank you so much and take care. Bye bye. Mm.